Hey everybody, Code Dodger here, back in business, getting things recorded again. Finally done with the moving process and all of that stuff. Um, oh, Xerxes is here too. He decided he needed to be part of this. Uh, I have not done any kind of channel updates in some time, uh, partly due to the fact things have been so insane lately, um, by, by my terms anyway, but not by most people's terms. Um, but yes, I am back. Alright, but I want to give everybody a quick update as to what is going on, what you can expect, and that kind of stuff with the channel. Uh, here's like a rundown of the series that have been going on lately. We've got the Assetto Course of Career Mode, which we're probably about halfway through, depending on how in-depth I want to get with that. I do Bingo, Minecraft Bingo, two days a week. Uh, supposed to, anyway. Usually I only manage to get one done. Uh, hopefully, I will get back into a better rhythm now and... Uh, be able to do both of them per week. Huzzah! Disappearing cats. Um, so what was I saying? Yes, automation. Uh, I understand that's a large part of the reason why uh, most of you are here. And I understand that. So I try and get one of those out per week. I have not had a real good theme lately. Um, just been kind of doing sporadic episodes or doing the, doing the scenarios and stuff like that. Honestly, that's not stuff that I enjoyed as much as when we were doing stuff like the Vector Automotive Challenge and things like that. So I want to get back into that. I want to revive that that theory, that series, and um, I'm just kind of deciding on what theme I want to go with. Um, what else do we have going? Racecraft, and I would say we'll partner that with Diversity 2. Uh, those are my two main stable Minecraft series, you know, kind of regular old Minecraft Let's Plays. Um, Bingo's different. Uh, I really enjoy Bingo. It's it's not your normal kind of Let's Play of Minecraft. And for things to look forward to in the future, I have recently re-upped my subscription to iRacing. If you follow me on Twitter, I, uh, I said that. I had an impulse buy with the Black Friday stuff going on. Uh, they had a year subscription, like half off or something like that. So I decided to go ahead and re-up on that. But not just for... Uh, random splurges of spending money. I have had an idea to kind of make that work as a series. That's something that I longed to do early on in the channel's history. Uh, if you go back to Let's Race with Cone, I think season... It could have been season two, maybe three. <laughs> um, that is what I was doing it in. But there was no goal, there was no premise to it. It was just playing our racing, And that kind of made me not feel real confident about it and uh, and I was just earlier on in my ability to do commentary and stuff like that so I didn't feel real good about that series but now I have a little bit of an incentive idea um, it's not completely fleshed out just yet uh, the new season has not started yet so that is that is another thing that I'm kind of waiting in the timeline for but the idea has to do around some inspiration I gathered from uh, two people that I kind of shaped my channel around, uh, Lorgon and Kurt. Um, Lorgon does a series called Space Bard, which is in Minecraft, and uh, it's part of his Survival and Tactics series, and every time he does that, he does something really cool where he'll punish himself for dying in the series by donating to Kurt's Far Lands or Bust Child's Play Charity. Um, I'm not going to say I'm stealing that idea, but I'm totally stealing that idea. Um, in iRacing, I am going to set up some kind of penalty for me for... I haven't decided if it's going to be a penalty for doing poorly, or if it's going to be like a reward to Child's Play for me doing well. I haven't decided which, which way I want to go with that yet. Maybe both. I don't know. we got to see how, uh, how this handles that, too. Um, but I think... Just giving myself an incentive, giving myself a goal, or giving the series a purpose will make me a little bit more comfortable doing iRacing. Uh, because overall, the game kit, gameplay can be a little dry at times. Because it's a sim. It's a hardcore sim. There's no AI. There's nothing like that. You know, you're you're dealing with real people. You can't be goofing off. Uh, and so, of course, uh, I kind of feel like I'm just doing whatever the heck I please, and it's a much different kind of atmosphere. So I don't have a problem doing my constant commentary. Um, because if I mess up, I mess up. It doesn't matter. Uh, and iRacing, sometimes there's going to be those gaps where I'm going to be focusing and not saying a word because it's that it's that kind of game. There's there's times where you really got to be 100% focused on it, and 
Uh, I can't chew bubblegum and walk at the same time, so. Uh, very few people I have seen have done commentaries on iRacing and, or live commentary on iRacing and, and been able to um, keep it going. All right, now I'm rambling. Twitch streams will be returning as well. I will get that channel back up and running. I, I started there, I did a couple, maybe a, a half a dozen streams, and they were fun, they were enjoyable, but um, unfortunately the, the living conditions I was in and the scheduling and stuff just was not working out. Luckily, I have, if you haven't noticed, I have moved and am all set up in my new place. Hopefully, it will be much quieter, is what I have noticed. Uh, the the interaction with the other people in the house is not as, um, like, right in your face, so uh, we're nice and separated. He's way out there, and I won't bother him, and he won't bother me. So hopefully, streams will be going coming back as well, and those will probably be at night, on nights I'm not working. Uh, so, like, after midnight, or 11 to, let's say, 2 a.m. Eastern. Uh, so look forward to that. And that will be in things like Roller Coaster Tycoon, SimCity, uh, maybe some automation if I'm feeling it, and occasionally just in, like, iRacing, Motorcycle Course, or something like that that I want to practice in, and just hang out with some people and um, enjoy the time. What else, what else, what else? Um, oh, I have not done a channel update since I hit 1,000 subscribers, so I want to thank everybody for that. Uh, really meant a lot to me. It's been it's been a long road. We're coming up on two years of doing videos on this channel, and um, I would say I'm still very pleased with the progress. I I had very low goals when I started. I have mostly automation and those guys to thank for. Uh, mostly Daffy, um, Killrod, and Keswall. They have been very supportive of my channel, and I have tried to return the favor and be very supportive of, of automation and help those guys out as much as possible. Uh, and more importantly, we just passed, like a week or two ago, uh, 1,337 subscribers, which is probably the only milestone that's really important. Alright, well, I think that is everything I had to talk about for this channel update. I'm going to try and give more channel updates as well, because... I'd really like to get this channel feeling a little bit more connected instead of just random videos. That is something that I notice a lot of people that I follow uh, seem to do a better job at than me. I seem to have no cohesive schedule or real involvement with the the subs, you guys, or, or just the community in general, so I'd like to do more of that. Uh, but other than the fact I am going to show you a picture of what the little setup here looks like, which is... Pretty similar to what I had before, but with massively more space. No more dungeon. Uh, I think that's going to do it. Thanks, as always, for watching, and I'll see you in the future.